Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, my $100 order from Smokey finally arrived. So what I thought I'd do is an unboxing for you. Now, two things in here are not knife-related, but all the rest of them are. Ill box. Yeah, I ordered this thing last Friday. And it was supposed to be here yesterday. It said out on, out for delivery, and it didn't arrive. And then it said delivery date unknown. So I just kind of like said, okay, it'll get here one of these days. The unveiling. Oh, get the invoice and all that crap out of the way. Packaging paper. Let's pull this off here and we'll just put the individual items up on the table. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so. I saw this. <laughs> they had that in the last um, care box. You know, the general and officer and all that. They included one of those. And I'm like, wow, I gotta get one. So, we'll tear these apart separately. I'm just gonna show you individually what I got. Here are the two non knife related things. This They sell the. Uh, Pathfinder cover. Now I've been using an aluminum foil cover on mine, so made in China. But yeah, so that's one thing. And then this is a fish spreader, fish jaw spreader, and uh, you can put it inside the lid of a metal canteen, and then you've got a hanger. The way to hang your pot. So those are the two non knife related things. And then the rest are knives. Make sure nothing's hiding in there. Yeah, hundred dollar didn't you get your whole lot sometimes. Alright, so let's look at these knives here. Take them out of their little sleevelet. I'm gonna switch back to the other cameras. So it'll zoom in because it's kind of multicolored dark in here. Just had to move it out into the light. Now I can't see anything with all the glare. Oh well. I saw these when I was just looking on Smoky Mountains uh, website, and I didn't even know they were coming out with them, but these are uh, supposed to be in carbon steel. And this denim micarta. Oh, yeah. This feels nice. Let me get this out of here. So I can see. Barely see through the lens. Pretty good strong pull on that one. I almost got my finger. See that? He tried to get me. Oh yeah, solid lock up. Feels kind of like a hollow grind on it too. A little bit of oil on there. Yeah, some more oil. Nice. We'll do a closer look at these when we get up there. So we'll set that guy down. Oh, it's upside down. And then this one is a little Barlow. 
Come on, Bartle. Come on out. Don't be camera shy. It's your, it's your day. It's your glory. I like this one, man. This feels good in the hand. Nice, smooth. My card on it. Let's see. It's all dark in here. I have to do something with the contrast. Right, the first little blade's pretty easy to get to. Nice snap. Oh, yeah. We'll have to work on it. It feels a little gummy, that lockup, but I know it's going to work into a better one. Yeah, I'm impressed with these two. I, that's what I've been waiting over a week for. So we'll do an individual review on those when we get them. And then I didn't have... Uh, I've got a marlin spike, but I didn't have one that had the little anchor. And this is a pretty cool one here. Put my trash over there. Of course, you got this like sheep's foot. Uh, nice lock up on it. Nice anchor, nice little jigging. And we got a nice marlin spike. Uh, so we can spike them marlins. Uh, 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 take that marlin. Uh, uh, uh. And then when you're finished spiking your marlins, you pull this. Didn't know that's what that's used for. In case of marlin attack. That's why they call it a marlin spike. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I always thought it was for. When a marlin attacks you, you attack him back. All right, let's look at the last one. Now, this guy's a little toothpick. I told you I love these little toothpicks. And uh, I figured if I had a little ornate one that weighed a little bit more, it wouldn't hurt it. I mean, you don't want to come out of there. Come on, it's your, it's your moment. It's your moment of glory. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Man, if you're just going to have one toothpick. You might as well have a fancy dancy one. Can you see if it's showing us in the camera? I guess it is. Yeah. Oh! It stuck me right there when I got ready to close it. I usually just push it like that. I don't think it drew any blood. Did it? Yeah, it did. See? That, that's a symbol that they like you. Just a little bite, just a little kiss there. Here, let me bite you. You're my new owner. I'm like, all right, don't get in the habit of doing that. Okay, let's take this guy out so he can be in his glory also out there. There we go. Put him like that, and let's get out the big Bowie, Bowie knife. Cutting it off camera so you won't see all the blood gushing when I slice myself. Usually the best way is if you're not, you don't want to go through all that stuff is just get where you want to get, which is along the knife. Slicage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you got your sheath back here. I can dig him out later. Take that guard away. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. This feels pretty good. Kind of a thin blade. It doesn't... You look at that huge monster and you would think that that thing's going to be really heavy. I don't like it. <laughs> um, but it's not. And this is that saw cut Daryl in like an old timer. I like it. What is this? Caution. Yeah, we don't need no caution. We already know about that. 
I was going to say, what? That's weird. I didn't remember having that red band up there. All right. So now, now we're safe. We know to use caution around knives because even the littlest knife can bite you. <laughs> I like this. I like the looks of this blade. I'm definitely going to use this guy. My next camping adventure. It can almost work as a little machete here. Look, okay, here's the elementum compared to it. A little comparison. The elementum folded up is smaller than the handle and deployed. And it gets about that far. You get about this far with an elementum. So you get all this extra reach. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed that unboxing. Like I said, I'll get in more in-depth with these with individual knife reviews, but finally, I'm happy. I got my knives. I've been waiting over a week. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.